Hi guys, this is Ash here and this is my review of the ice cream sandwich from Stana for the Galaxy Note N7000. So uh, just to show you guys, I'm running... Okay, I'm running um, the AOKP uh, Stana Beta 5.0 and that's Android 4.0.4 ice cream sandwich. So guys, I've been using this ROM for a couple of weeks now. Uh, this is kind of the longest I've used uh, a ROM before I've uh, reviewed it. I've kind of been looking for negatives on this ROM because I want to give a few, but I've not really found that many. Uh, the ROM is extremely stable. Uh, okay, the first thing you need to know about this ROM is it's not a TouchWiz based ROM. So what you get is vanilla Android. You don't have any of your TouchWiz features, like you cannot slide over here, change the brightness and none of the S Pen features work. The S Pen does work however, so let me start off with this. Uh, the S Pen does work, but it replaces your finger and that's it. Uh, for example, pressing this button and uh, holding it does not take a screenshot. Similarly, double tapping it with the button press does not open up S Memo. For that, for a matter, I mean, as a matter of fact, S Memo doesn't even exist with this ROM. You get something called Free Note. Again, uh, over there, the S Pen does work, but then again, it's just like how you use your finger. It's not pressure sensitive or anything. So this is the major negative if you're coming from a TouchWiz based ROM. This is something you're gonna have to get used to. You're not gonna be able to swipe right to call or swipe left to message, but apart from this, you get vanilla Android, none of uh, Samsung's TouchWiz flavor. It's very, very stable, the ROM. Uh, as far as calling functionality goes, the contacts work perfectly. Uh, uh, the quick dial settings work. Uh, as far as uh, signal goes, the signal is perfect. I've not had a drop signal issue like I have faced with a few ROMs in the past, nothing. Again, as, uh, as far as toggles goes, you've got, I mean, you can edit everything in the ROM, so that's not a problem, but you can also get the uh, brightness slider over here so that that makes up for the lack of touch with brightness functionality. Uh, with a few ROMs, we have a problem where we turn Wi-Fi off and turn it back on, where it just crashes and so on. Uh, that kind of an issue does not exist. You can uh, do it how many other times you want and it, there are no issues at all. Okay guys, one more common issue with uh, most uh, ice cream sandwich ROMs is that when it comes to Bluetooth, uh, I've been you know whining about this issue in a few of my reviews, so if you've seen them, you'll know. Uh, I have a Bluetooth headset uh, from Jabra. So this is an AVRCP capable headset, which means it supports audio, video, remote control profiles. So when you use this headset, you will be able to adjust the volume, skip tracks and pause and play uh, from the headset itself. So right now, my headset is bad. So double tapping it, make sure that I call somebody. The mobile network is not available. Yep, I've just taken my SIM card out. My SIM card's in my HTC One X. So I tap on play and you can see that double twist started playing a song so let me open that song up I tap on play again it pauses play pause works skip to next track works go back to previous track works and the volume feature also works so you'll have to hear it to know it but then again all these features do not work with uh, quite a few ice cream sandwich ROMs so I, I felt that that's something worth mentioning. So apart from that guys, none of the general f falls are found, everything works. One problem that I found with this is that uh, as far as vibration goes, your when when you get a call at times you do get the vibration, but when, it, when you get a SMS, uh, you do not get vibration. I've tried the volume is fixed as well and that does not fix it. So if you're going with this ROM, be prepared to lose vibration uh, for message notifications as well. So, uh, as far as the camera goes, you get your standard uh, ice cream sandwich version of the camera, uh, not the touchless one. So, uh, you, get, you can uh, take pictures at uh, 8 megapixel and you can shoot videos at 1080p, no issues. And the front camera works as well and you also get your sweet panorama feature. So, the camera is pretty smooth. Chrome beta works, the, ice cream, the, the browser works, there are no issues with it as well. Uh, as far as the Play Store goes, again, uh, you have uh, you, you can download anything you want it signs in smooth and you can also restore you know the old apps that which you've uh, bought previously there are no issues with that as well okay as far as apps go with this rom you get quite a few apps i have what do you say i have uh, 
restore a lot of my apps from my previous ROM so these aren't exactly all that you'd get but uh, whatever features that you know uh, TouchWiz provided us say for example with TouchWiz we had uh, my files since this uh, ROM doesn't use TouchWiz you instead instead you get explore and similarly you get super note and uh, free note instead of uh, s memo so uh, you also get angry GPS so as far as apps go you're not gonna really f be missing anything uh, from TouchWiz it'll be more like getting used to stuff instead of swiping to call you're gonna tap to call so yes it's gonna be different if you're coming from TouchWiz but you're not actually losing anything and this ROM is extremely stable and more than makes up for the lack of TouchWiz and anyway this is not actually intended for uh, fans of TouchWiz in the first place so guys uh, one of what sets this uh, well, uh, what sets this ROM apart from the rest? It's something called Euphoria Control. So, this is something that is uh, found on this ROM. It gives you a lot of way to tweak uh, this ROM to your liking. Say, for example, you can s tweak wha what startup does actually to your phone, or if you want to, you can you can tweak the per uh, what do you say the performance. Uh, by default, you've got up to 1,400 megahertz but you can reduce it if you want to the minimum CPU scaling and the scaling governor this is what uh, decides if you put it on performance your, your, your CPU is going to be running on max uh, if you put it on power save it will be on minimum as much as possible and so on so on demand is when it changes as per the requirement and same way you've got a memory manager that does stuff as well similarly there are lots and lots of features over here guys for example you can even customize the toggles, you can even customize the lock screen, the way the battery animation looks, like the battery icon style, just text only. Or if you want to switch it to, I like the circle mod, so that's the one I use. A battery bar location, you can also have a battery bar if you want to on the status bar. I like to hide it, so there, there are lots and lots of uh, customization options over here. And uh, there is one more thing that is, you know, kind of unique to this ROM it's got something called uh, switching between phone and tablet UI this is something I've not been able to get to work so maybe it's got something to do with the version of the ROM that I'm on but I've seen people getting this working you can switch to tablet mode where you know you, you can accommodate more icons on screen and when you switch it around you actually get two panes and stuff like that uh, but I've not been able to get get it to work so I just wanted to let you guys know that these are the these are the stuff that's actually available with this ROM. Okay, so moving on. Again, guys, with uh, security, face unlock works. Every feature works. There are no issues uh, whatsoever with it. You also get us developer options over here where you can, you know, if you're a developer and you're looking for these options, they are available on this ROM. I just wanted to let you guys know that as well. Oops, I went out of it. So, anyway, the most important part of, you know, switching to a ROM, what actually decides if. We are going to use it for testing it for a few days or if you're going to use it as a day-to-day -day ROM that's the battery so the battery life is amazing with this ROM so I've got almost five and a half hours for 22 percent which means I'll get around 25 hours out of this this charge and uh, for about two hours of this uh, of usage I did not have electricity we get everyday power cuts for about two hours so those two hours I was on 3G I was talking to people I was browsing I was listening to music via Bluetooth so that is where this drop is and even before that I had Wi-Fi on for quite some time so this is pretty heavy usage that I've been using this five hours and I've still it's still used up only about 22% of the battery so this ROM is amazing when it comes to battery life uh, and for me that's one of the main things that I consider before I switch to a ROM so uh, again I thought you guys would want to know that so the last thing I'd like to do with this ROM is quickly run a quadrant score a quadrant test if, you, if you'd like uh, running a full benchmark over here okay guys we got the results here so tapping on yes and the device is sitting somewhere around 3500-3496 to be precise so that's that. Those are pretty decent scores for the Galaxy Note. So that's pretty much it for the uh, review of the uh, ice cream sandwich ROM for the Galaxy Note called Stana. Uh, this has been one of the best ROMs that I've used, and I've already said it many times in this review. Uh, I suggest you guys try to get this installed. I have a 
tutorial lab for installation and with installation instructions for the SROM. Uh, if you guys have any kind of questions, uh, make sure you leave a comment or hit me up uh, you know, on Facebook or Twitter or send me an email. All my contact details are in the description. So before you go guys, please make sure that you hit the subscribe and like buttons. I'll be back soon with more videos from Samsung Galaxy Note N7000. Uh, so, uh, you know, please make sure you stay, you stay subscribed. Uh, so, that's pretty much it guys. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.